Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins and welcome to The Deep Dive, a new video format that allows me to take an up-close look at future PS Viewer titles in a way that is easy to digest so that you can learn everything you need to know before you put that VR headset on for yourself. Now today's episode is going to focus on the upcoming virtual reality functionality that will be coming with Hitman 3. If you enjoy this video then please consider doing all that usual YouTube shite to help me out. Now with that out of the way, let us begin. Hitman 3 is an upcoming game from IO Interactive, the third and final entry in the World of Assassination trilogy, but the first time the series has supported virtual reality. Hitman 3 is going to be releasing globally on the 20th of January 2021 at 60 US dollars, 70 European euros, and 55 British sterling. PlayStation and IO Interactive have come to some kind of arrangement which has resulted in Hitman's virtual reality functionality being exclusive to Sony's 2016 virtual reality headset. It is not yet known for sure whether or not it will make it to other VR headsets, although when reading between the lines of some comments IO Interactive developers made on a Redis AMA, it seems the bald assassin will make his way to PC VR headsets at some point in the future. Hitman 3 may support virtual reality, but unlike many PSVR games, it will not support the PlayStation Move controllers, at least not at launch. Instead, IO Interactive have opted for players to control the game with the DualShock 4 only. However, the game will take full advantage of the DualShock 4's built-in motion controlled tracking and gyroscopes. IO Interactive explained that this decision was made because they felt this was the best hybrid control scheme for Hitman 3. Hitman 3 won't just allow you to play Hitman 3 in VR, but the entire World of Assassination trilogy. That means that if you get Hitman 3, you'll be able to import the levels from 2016's Hitman 1, as well as 2018's Hitman 2, and play them all in virtual reality. Now you will need to own both Hitman 1 and or 2 to take advantage of that fact, so do keep that in mind. While Hitman 3 will be releasing on both PS4 and PS5, the only way to enjoy the game in virtual reality will be to play the PS4 version of the game. Now that is not to say that you can't play the game in VR on PS5, just that you'll need to be running the PS4 version of the game on your PS5 via backwards compatibility. Luckily, if you buy the PS5 version of Hitman 3, the PS4 version will be included at no extra cost, so you will not have to worry about getting mixed up. That is, if you're one of the lucky people who actually have a PS5. As previously mentioned, Hitman 3 will fully support the motion tracking and gyros of the DualShock 4 controller. This will allow players to do things they normally wouldn't be able to do otherwise, including opening doors physically, aiming guns and shooting around corners, tapping NPCs on the shoulder to distract them, utilizing a motion-based melee system developed for the game to physically attack NPCs with melee weapons or hand-to-hand -hand combat, and even performing menial actions to blend in while in disguise, such as cleaning down a bar with a cloth while disguised as a bartender. The virtual reality mode does have the potential to make the game more difficult. That is because in virtual reality you can only play the game in a first person viewpoint. This means you'll have to be extra vigilant and keep your head on a swivel to spot incoming dangers. You'll also be wanting to make sure you take advantage of directional audio to help you gain awareness of the situation. Hitman 3 is played with smooth locomotion with optional comfort settings such as click turning and vignette. So if you were worried about being forced to teleport around the place like some games make you do, there is no need. And there you have it. That should get you up to date on everything that you need to know about Hitman 3 in virtual reality. Keep in mind that everything I've said here is subject to change and it is possible that a patch or an update will add things like move controller support for example. But as of right now this info is up to date. Before I end this video please let me thank my Patreon supporters whose names are on the screen as we speak. Thanks to their support videos like these are possible. 
In particular, let me thank the top tier Patreon supporters. Pete Hawkins, Columbus Thomas III, Chopped 517, Tradition, Daniel the Pumpkin Patch Kid, and Crumb. Thank you for your support. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash petrifying pumpkins, the link to which is in the description. If not, don't worry, I'd also appreciate the likes, comments, the usual YouTube shies. Now last but not least, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can catch him on Decepticon.com. The link to his website will be in the description below also. That is it for this video, lads and ladies. Thank you for watching. Please stay moist. <laughs>